It's easy to think in simple terms about volume. Turn it up or turn it down. But it's a balancing act where it's important to consider how the sound will actually be perceived to the human ear at different sound levels. The air is less sensitive to bass sounds at lower volumes, for example. So if we increase the volume, we can reduce the bass to make speech clearer. We do this with the loudness feature. Another benefit of this is that less bass energy is transferred to the room. And this is good, because many rooms have problems with bass reverb. With conference calls, we want even sound levels and a broad frequency range. After all, the basic idea with teleconferencing is to simulate face-to-face -face meetings. So we try to create the feeling of being in the same room, just in front of the person we are talking to. During conference calls, we naturally don't want to be hunched over a phone. Traditional speaker phones were designed for a distance of 50 centimeters between the user and the device. But these days, teleconferences are held in a large rooms as well. And this means longer distances between user and devices. This is why the reference distance has been increased from half a meter to one and a half meter. And because it's important to still hear as well as we did before, the volume must be doubled. In other words, we have to increase it by 10 decibel. It's then important that the conference phone at the receiving end has the power to handle this. Another benefit is that development in communications technology is moving from narrowband to wideband. This enables a significantly broader frequency range for the sound, which improves clarity and the sense of presence for conference calls.